I remembered something that happened two days before she died. I mailed her gloves to her. She'd had them a long time and was fond of them. But the gloves she wore yeah, the day she know, died. Yeah, I know. I know. They were wrong. They were brand new. Don't you even begin to see? I guess we'll just have to face it. You're talking to a pretty stupid man. Brand new gloves. A borrowed belt. A blue handkerchief, an old blouse. Something old, something new. Something borrowed, something blue. Where's the Marriage License Bureau? In the municipal building. I think Dorothy went there to get married. And not to kill herself. To go a step further, Mr. Grant, I don't think she did kill herself. In the suicide note? Where did it say suicide? I hope you will forgive me for the unhappiness I'll cause. There is nothing else I can do. Her marriage would have made my father unhappy. As we know now, what else could you do? If we can identify her boyfriend, I think you'll find I'm right. And I've done some thinking about him, too. Dorothy wrote me when the semester began. Said she met someone, in English literature, I believe, who was a real thing. She didn't mention his name, mm, but... Ellen. You've really been thinking about this, haven't you? I mean, you've done a lot of thinking. Brooding, my father calls it. You can call it that, too. I'm not sensitive. I know that when tragedy hits, hits hard, that, well, uh, the mind is apt to come up with a lot of far-fetched ideas. Like this. In other words, you don't believe me. Well, I didn't say that. What about your uncle? Would he? <laughs> well, if you think I like imagination, you ought to have a session with him. Thanks very much anyway, Mr. Grant. Gordon. Hey, look, let me tell you a little more about my uncle. If your sister was murdered, he wants to know about it as much as you do, and so...